Hi Libra, welcome to your weekly tarot reading for January 24th through the 30th. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome and thank you. Libra, let's see what's going on for you for the week ahead. A quick sneak peek, little look here. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, any heavy placements of Libra, male or female, general collective reading. So please only take what resonates, including the signs mentioned. You definitely can flip, switch, reverse energies around anytime you feel the need to. <clears throat> Cross watchers, you are welcome. Could actually be a reading or messages in here for you. So please do keep that in mind. All right, Libra. Welcome in, welcome in. Hope you're all doing well. Staying safe and healthy at this time. Everything you need to know, Libra, is down below in the description box. Your playlists are down there. Your February readings have started to go out. Keep an eye out next week. I'll, uh, well, this week, later this week, I'll be doing the new moon in Aquarius readings. And if you're new here, I do eight readings a month per sign to a week. You get a quick, uh, a quick, <laughs> quick sneak peek into the week ahead, a weekly reading, which is technically a little bit shorter. And then I do longer readings. I do two monthlies, a new moon and a full moon. Those are definitely longer. All right, Libra, let's see what we have for you. What's going on this week for Libra? Let's see what we have. Platypus, woman's wisdom. And we have 24, which is a very healing, balanced energy, which would be six. So you may be getting some words of wisdom from like a, um, a parent, a sibling, a friend, somebody who may be older, who maybe who's been through a lot that can really give you a lot of good advice, guidance in a situation for you. Or you could be just becoming all the more wiser about a situation. Detachment. You are releasing old patterns and ideas that no longer serve your highest ideals of love. So, yeah, I think you're becoming, uh, you're wising up about a situation here. Could be about a love situation. Let's see. So we do have here the five of pentacles. You didn't go through your current situation current challenges alone help is nearby negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecy so prophecy so these uh five of pentacles here can be about lack feeling neglected abandoned left out in the cold you may be suffering a little bit um financially right now so let's see what is going on for you libra so there's definitely an energy here of feeling like um like you're alone so you may not be getting the attention you deserve from your person as well. You could be also be t detaching from a job that is not paying you enough as well. Some of you may be uh, thinking about going into a career, maybe being a counselor, a therapist, a guide, a mentor um, for other women. All right. All right. What do we have here? Ten of Pentacles. So, I mean, that is a good energy. I mean, that could be about commitment, marriage, but it's also long-term wealth, growth, and abundance. And then we do have the Eight of Swords, which fell out too. So you feel like you're being blocked from your full potential here. That's what I feel like, um, Libra. You feel like stuck, trapped um, from either reaching a goal or getting to that Ten of Pentacles. You could be stuck in a marriage where you feel like you need to get out as well. Let's see where this is going. Wheel of Fortune. So that is fate, destiny, divine timing, things getting better, going in the right direction, something meant to be. So let's see where this is going. The world. So I think whatever this is, it's kind of faded and destined that it may be time to move on because the world can be about closing out a chapter, a cycle, and time to start a new cycle. It could also be about moving, uh, relocating as well. For some of you, I feel like you're stuck, especially with the Five of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords, you're stuck at a job where you're not making the money you want to make or you feel like you're not being paid enough for your abilities. And it's kind of like at the point now where it's kind of faded and destined that it's time to kind of move on in a way. So it may include traveling maybe for this, maybe for a new job or career, maybe a little more of a commute. Maybe even relocating. As I say that, the Four of Wands definitely can be about a home, a new home, moving uh, as well. It can be about moving in, marriage commitment, but it's a stable, grounded home life. It can be dating, getting to know. That is my soulmate twin flame card, but it doesn't have to be. Eight, yeah, Eight of Cups. And you see, he's walking right to a new home. So 
<laughs> it's just funny. So yeah, it's time to go on a new journey here. Eight of Cups is walking away from things no longer serving you. So if you've had a dream home or you're like, yeah, I just feel like it's time, you know, maybe to move out of a situation where maybe you've been renting or leasing and it's like, I just want my own home and maybe you're just not being paid enough. Four of Pentacles is stable, grounded energy. We have two fours here, which is stability, um, foundation. Two fours would be eight and eight is a number for me of uh moving, traveling, communication, uh, taking action, infinity. So this may be a cycle you've been stuck in for quite a while. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck here. So we have the Ace of Wands, we have the Three of Cups, and we have the Queen of Swords, which is you, Libra. That's just crazy. That is your energy right here. Three of Cups. So this could be uh, networking, socializing, community, maybe working in your community, something new and exciting. I feel like if some of you move to like a new community with the Three of Cups, you actually may have some exciting new opportunities here for new beginnings. It could be entrepreneurship. It could be, uh, uh, you know, owning your own business, starting your own business, working for somebody that owns their own business as well. Exciting new ideas, creative projects, endeavors, making new friends, socializing. can be also dating, getting to know as well. But this Queen of Swords is you. And sometimes for me, it's also the energy of the divine coming in to shed truth and clarity on a situation. And again, this could be a woman's wisdom, like a wise person here giving you, again, that could be a counselor, advisor, guidance, mentor. could be you or somebody else. Uh, giving you um, advice on how to detach and move on from a situation here. Because the Wheel of Fortune is, you know, fate, destiny, divine timing, things meant to be, getting better, going in the right direction, making more money. But it's going to require here some sort of move or closing a cycle, starting a new cycle. And definitely moving in a new direction here. Some of you, um, again, it could be moving on from a, a marriage that just isn't working anymore. Or maybe you and your person getting up, taking root in a whole new direction as well. This could also be, you know, uh, maybe somebody, you know, walked away here for a little bit here because they were a little insecure about getting married or committing or moving in or buying a home together or something like that. So they may have been holding back from you really stuck in their head about this, unsure what to do. But, you know, they could be gaining truth, clarity here, you know, and coming in for a reunion for exciting new beginning as well. I do see transformation here with the butterfly. So they may have detached, you know, uh, for a while here. And maybe they've gotten uh, advice, guidance from a wise person in their energy. It could be a woman, it could be their mother, it could be, you know, siblings, friends here. And I feel like they're telling them, you know what, you have someone really stable and grounded um, that really loves you. Why are you doing this? And I feel like, you know, Eight of Cups can, you know, leave with your, oh, you can come back, you know, especially if it's in reverse. But let's see what's on the bottom of the deck here. Knight of Wands. So, I mean, they could have been in and out, not sure what they wanted. Six of Swords. So, I mean, that could be moving on to peace, harmony, balance, leaving all the BS behind. So they could be coming with you or you may be leaving them behind. But either way, you're taking action uh, here, Libra. So we have the chariot. Oops, I'm losing all my cards here. <laughs> we have the chariot, which is about positive movement forward. Again, can be about moving, traveling, distance, commuting. Maybe some of you buying a new car, need a new car, but you can't afford it right now, especially if you're stuck in a job that's not paying you enough. Um... But the chariot here is drive, ambition, balance, success, victory, cancer energy. So you, you're moving in a new direction no matter what. Because we do have the world, which can be about moving or traveling. The six of swords, same thing. As is the eight of cups and the chariot. So, yeah, standing in your empress energy. This is Libra Taurus. So you know your value, your worth. So you're telling this person, this is what I'm doing. I'm moving on and going in this direction. You can either come with me or you can stay behind. So you're standing in your power here. So I think this person is going to get a tower moment. And you probably had a big tower moment here as well that, you know, something could have happened. 
Uh, it, there could have been a huge blow up. There could have been, you know, that last straw that was broken and you're like, you know, no more of this. Awakening, epiphany, aha moment, a revelation, a shock, change, a breakdown. Yeah, definitely free, independent. So walking away on a new journey here. So, yep, I feel like you're telling this person, you know, make a choice here. Two of Wands, come with me or you could stay behind. So, I mean, we do have the, I just saw the um, the Eight of Pentacles, definitely working hard to better your situation, Emperor. So, I mean, we do have the Empress and the Emperor here. Uh, where's the Empress? So, it is Divine Counterpart. So, whether or not they're going to wake up to this, just saw the Five Pentacles again, remains to be seen. But either way, you're moving on with or without them. That's what I feel here. So, we do have Sagittarius, Cancer... Libra Taurus, Aries, let's see, Aries again, and then we have uh, Libra, or another air sign, Libra, or Gemini, Aquarius, for me it's a Libra, Sagittarius, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, again Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, so you know it's time to move in a direction, Libra, you're doing what's best for you, and you're telling this person you can either come with me or you can stay behind even if you're married to this person because the ten of pentacles and the four of wands can definitely be speaking of marriage so or maybe you know wanting to head towards marriage maybe this has been talk about marriage or commitment or engagement and now it's like you could have just sprung this on them like i have to do this make a change i need to move in a new direction this is what i want to do so you could come with me or you could stay behind. All right. I mean, the Knight of Wands can be the go-getter of the deck. They get it done. They take action. Very um, goal-oriented oriented and driven. You know, or it could be a player in and out. Not necessarily a player, but not committal. So, however that resonates for you. All right. So, let's get some, get some advice and guidance for you, Libra. Retreat, yeah. You're definitely, it's like, <clears throat> you know you have to um, take your, pull your energy back out of situations here that are no longer serving you. Laugh at your demons. I feel like you're just turning your back and you're like laughing like at this job. Like, you know, <clears throat> I stayed here long enough. You don't pay me what I'm worth. It's like you're just moving on in a higher vibration and you're like, you know, I'm not going to let this negative energy um, get to me. Except what is dying. So, yeah, exactly. Let's get one more. Reflect on your truth. So, yeah, it's time, especially here with the Queen of Swords right there, is all about truth, clarity, awakening, epiphany, um, cutting out things no longer serving, standing up, telling it like it is, not backing down. And sometimes the Queen of Swords can be somebody who has been through a lot, divorced. Um, some of you maybe are contemplating divorce or going through a divorce or getting a divorce or just divorcing the situations, whatever they are for you. Do all things in moderation. So take your time. Don't rush. Think things through carefully. Don't do anything harsh or anything, um, you know without thinking it through first that's what i'm feeling here especially with the queen of swords all swords are all about the mind so don't do anything drastic and we do have do something different so definitely uh change is needed that is for sure all right libra that's what i have for you so i hope that helped i hope it resonated again thank you so much for being here it's truly truly appreciated uh don't forget to take out check out your february readings and keep an eye out for the new moon in aquarius which will be coming up later in the week. Wishing you the best and I shall see you next time.